Hello! Welcome to Easy English at Home YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna teach you some important words that you need at the airport. We come across a lot of signboards at the airport, don't we? It's very important to know what they mean. So today I'm gonna teach you a couple of them. I have the words here and their definitions as well. Let's match the words with their definitions. The first word we're looking at is arrivals. Arrivals is the part of an airport which deals with passengers who are arriving, those who are coming into the city or the country. Arrivals matches with J. Okay. What about departures? It's the opposite for arrivals. Okay. So departures is the part of the airport that deals with passengers who are leaving, those who are leaving the city or country, they're going away, okay? So that matches with I. Next word, customs, okay? Customs is the place, okay, at an airport where officials check the goods, the products that you bring into the country. Things you bought from the other country and you're bringing them into the country which you live, okay? Right, so this matches with H. Next one, gate. What about gate? What does that mean? It's the place at an airport where people get on a plane. So you find the gate and you know where to get, your, get on your plane, okay? Gate matches with G, okay? Next one, we have check-in counter or check-in desk. So this is the desk. It's a kind of desk where you give in your bags and have your ticket checked, okay? So you have a person, an official to help you at the check-in counter and desk. So this matches with F. Good job. Next one, stopover. What's a stopover? It's a stop during a flight. If you have a connecting flight, the place where you stop and get off your current plane and get on and another plane is called a stopover. Okay? Good. So this matches with E. Baggage reclaim. Baggage reclaim means the place at an airport where people get their luggage after the flight. So you go and collect your luggage from baggage reclaim. Okay? That matches with D. Next one. A boarding pass. What's that? A boarding pass is a kind of card. It's a card each passenger has to show before getting on the plane. Okay? You show your boarding pass and you get on the plane. Okay, that matches with C. And the next one, lost property office. Okay? It's a room where lost and left possessions, things that belong to people, are kept. Yes? People forget them in public areas, so all these things are collected and they put into the lost property office. So you can go and find your lost bag or luggage from this office. So that matches with B. And the last one, we have connecting flight. A connecting flight is a flight that requires you to change planes at an intermediate airport. Let's imagine that you're flying to Melbourne, right? So your first stopover is, let's say, Doha, right? So you have a connecting flight from Doha to Melbourne, okay? So that's how it works. We have A here, and that was the last one. We'll continue with some verbs that we need at airport situations. I've written down seven of them today. Let's start with the first one. It is to check in. To check in means to notify the airline that you have arrived and to give in your bags and get your boarding pass to get on the plane. So let's have a look at this verb in a sentence. You can, for an international flight, three hours before departure time. You can, what? Check in, yes. So you can check in for an international flight three hours before the departure time. Cool. Or you can ask your friend, have you checked in yet? 
Yes, I have checked in already. Okay, to board. To board means to get on the plane. Yes, to get on the plane. Another example here we have, you can board, yes, you can board on the plane soon after checking in. Yes, you check in first and then you board on the plane. Okay, number three is to fasten, yes, to buckle up, to tie your seatbelt. Okay, here we have an example. You have to fasten, yes, your seatbelt on takeoffs and landings. Yes, the dangerous times. You have to fasten. Next one, go through. To go through means to get examined. Yes, at a point. You can go through security, go through passport control, for example. Let's look. It takes a while, so it takes some time to go through, to go through passport control at the airport. Yeah, doesn't it? It takes long. Okay. To declare means officially state what you have brought into the country. To state, to say that you have brought in these goods. Okay, so what items do I need to declare? Yes, what items do I need to declare before getting into the country? I should let the officials know what I have with me, yes? Next one, to queue up means to get in a line. Yes, you get in a line. You have to queue up or get in a line at the passport control. Yes, you have to wait for your turn. Okay, next one, to register. To register at the check-in counter, for example, means to state your personal details. You need, sorry, you need your ID card to, to what? To register. To register at the check-in counter. So, what have you learned today? Seven verbs. To check in, to board, to fasten, to go through, declare, queue up and register. Well done. Let's practice more. Look at the pictures and answer the questions. Where is she? She is at the check-in counter. What is she doing? She's checking in. Picture two. What are they doing? Look, they're boarding. Picture three. What's this? It's a seat belt sign. When it turns red, you should fasten your seat belt. Picture four. What's that? It's a carousel. You see it at the baggage claim area. You can collect your luggage there. Picture five. What's his job? He works at the customs. They serve several people going through the customs every day. Picture six. Where is he? He has just gone to the check-in counter to register. Let's have a look at today's keywords and phrases. We have learned some important words that we come across at the airport. Arrivals, departures, customs, gate, check-in counter or check-in desk, stopover, baggage reclaim, boarding pass, lost property office, connecting flight. We also learned common verbs related to these nouns. The first one. Check in, board, fasten, go through, declare, queue up, register. Thank you for watching. You can find the practice files for this lesson on the link in description. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye!